Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another video. Make sure you subscribe. All right, y'all, just back with my post fighting analysis for, uh, you know, a few of these Invicta FC 40 fights. Uh, Shelby Kareem versus Gina Gooden. Uh, first off, this was a good fight on their level. You know, this was uh, Shelby Kareem, her uh, Invicta debut, and Gina, her second fight with Invicta. And I have to say, man, like, these two ladies, they showed a really nice ground game. You know, it was, it was really like a ground chess match in this fight. Uh, not a lot of wild swinging. Uh, both ladies trying to one up each other on the ground, uh, but they both really fared well. They both made it out of each other's submission attempts, and that just kind of shows you what level of fighter they're they're on their way to being. You know, Gina Gooden, she was able to, uh, you know, win her second fight in Invicta FC, and you know, prove why she you know wants to move on. You know, I've uh, interviewed her, and you know, she seemed like a pretty well put together fighter. You know, a person whose uh, focus is on, you know, taking one fight at a time and tr just trying to you know win. And, you know, win that one fight before, you know, you advance to the next and, you know, really just stay focused. But um, just going back and looking at the fight, man, um, round one, Gina, you know, she started off with an attack with the strikes. You know, she was a taller, longer fighter, but uh, she went in with the uh, pressure, went in for the clinch. Uh, Shelby, you know, she went in on the back. That was kind of her specialty throughout the night, you know, trying to slide in on the back and try to get that rear naked choke. But uh, whenever she went to the back and went to the ground, uh, she tried to go in for the arm bar, but Gina real flexible you know she's real flexible at the same time strong and she was able to defend against it and stay on her feet and with shelby holding on gina got uh got in this really nice slam you know she lifted shelby up and got in that nice slam to the back uh shelby held on very strong as, as well and with gina on top you know she was able to get in her own attempt for an arm bar but uh she'll, she'll be locked in with a triangle around the neck to defend against that uh very flexible like i said they both were really adapting to each other's uh, submission attempts even at the end of the even at the end of the round when Shelby locked in another arm bar it, it looked like Gina was about to to submit as far as the position but she would not tap like that arm was extended and you could really like see the bend already in that that joint but as flexible as she was and as tight as that arm bar was she just like held out for those last few seconds but like I said even the comment even the commentators they thought the arm had bent but you know she held on and you know, she said the arm was fine. So it just shows you how flexible she was. Uh, but that was a pretty close round. I think that um, it could have gone either way. But I had Gina taking it just with those uh, just with the ability to defend from a lot of these submission attempts in the slam and just a few of the good strikes that she landed. But um, round two, Gina, she started with some good kicks, but chose to go inside with the clinch again. Uh, Shelby, she got in a nice little hip toss. Uh, but, but again, Gina being the stronger fighter, she winds up on top and back on her feet. Back in the stand-up, to me, I think it favored Gina a little bit, but it was a little bit more of a slower pace for both fighters. And that's why I was saying, like, they weren't just going in there swinging, like, and slugging. Uh, they they didn't showcase, like, the best striking yet. Uh, they, they, they seemed like they both really wanted to go to the mat and really kind of showcase their skills in the clinch and on the ground. Uh, Gina was able to get her own takedown. And on, on top, she landed a few good strikes. And once again, it's like an armbar fist. You know, they both were going back and forth trying to get their own attempts at armbars, but both of them being real flexible. Uh, Shelby Corinne flexible, Gina, they both just sliding out of each other's attempts at an armbar and making it out of the round. But again, I think the aggressiveness in this round and just the ability to escape a lot of the submission attempts really favored Gina in this round again. Still close but competitive, but I gave that round to Gina. Uh, last round, both started off with their, their stand-up. You know, Gina controlling uh, like a couple minutes of the round, just controlling the distance, landing a few good right hands. But both fighters, they got in a few exchanges. But I think it favored Gina again. Uh, really on the ground, that's where the action was with these two. You know, Shelby going in for that clinch, eating a few knees, but, you know, also giving back a few knees to Gina. Uh, Shelby winds up on her back. Gina goes in for another arm bar attempt. But it's crazy. Like, she'll, she'll, Shelby just does this crazy move where she, like, flips and rolls right out of the arm bar out of position and um see for me that not being like a fighter on the ground to me that kind of amazes me how a fighter can just like slide out of an arm bar attempt and just kind of roll with it and get out of it but um yeah it was like a couple of close exchanges in there towards the end very competitive once again but I, ha I had it like two to one for Gina you know I think I gave Shelby that first round you know um but overall it was just a good com competitive chess match on the ground uh definitely good another good fight for Gina you know it was a good educated pace for her you know it wasn't really like wild and amateurish i think they were just in there just trying to showcase each other's skills 
uh, one up each other's skills and they were really trying to showcase something different. Uh, good fight. Shout out to Gina Gooden. And uh, yeah, she's advancing uh, three and over uh, two and oh and looking for her third win after this. But uh, yeah, Shelby Curran, that was her first fight. No need to be uh, like discouraged or counted out. Uh, you know, this is her first loss, but actually her first fight as well. So, you know, moving on from here, you know, it's definitely not not anything discouraging. I think she still held her own and definitely didn't look like anything to count out. But yeah, man, that's all got on this guys. Let me know what y'all thought of the fight. If you haven't, if you have checked it out, but uh, yeah, I'll be back with my next uh, post-fight analysis video. Combo Breaker 99, I'm out. Peace.